In this video, I'm going to cover part C and D of activity three of Martley Pool College. Let's have a look at the report. We've got to create a report that shows the statistics for each player was played in more than one position. We need to display a suitable report title for each player display the surname, the initial, the date of birth. And we need to calculate and display the number of positions they have played in, the best rating they have achieved, and the total number of yellow cards they've received. And the report must fit on one page. The first thing to do for creating the report is actually to create a query to base the report on. So I've just got here the query. We've got two tables in TBL player, TBL player position. And the fields in the query are player ID from player, player surname from player, player initial from player, and the player date of birth from player. We've then got to work out how many positions each player's got. So we've got a calculation here. I've called it number of positions. And we're working out on that position ID, position ID. We're going to do a count of them. Now, we want players that have had more than one position. So if we put greater than one in the criteria row, that will pick out just the players that have had more than one position. And then for those players, we want to work out the best rating. Remember, the best rating, one was the best, five was the worst. So we want to find the minimum position that they've had to get their best rating. Again, it's a calculation, best rating worked out on that player position rating, and we're going to find the minimum. And then finally, we need to work out the number of yellow cards for each player. So again, it's a calculation, no yellow cards, and we're working that out on the player position yellow cards field, and we're going to do a sum because we need to add those up. So that's the query that you need to create first of all, and then we're going to use this to base the report on. But now we've created that query, we're going on to create, and we're going to use the report wizard. And the first thing is to select the query that we have created. So that for me, I saved that as QR. Y report and then we're going to put the fields in. Now I don't think we need the player ID so I'm going to put all the fields across into selected fields and then just take the player ID back and then we should just have all those fields going into our report. There's no grouping particularly in this report it's just a list of players and I don't think we need any sorting. You could sort for example on the surname and next you can leave this as portrait and tabular and then next. Always save your report with RPT as the prefix and then give it an appropriate name. OK, and as you can see, we've got a very, very basic report. If I just pull up the finished one that I did previously. You can see we need to format this now so that it's nicely laid out across the width of the page. We've used some formatting features. Remember, you need to go into this exam with some idea of like a house style that you're going to use in your report and your forms. It doesn't have to be complicated formatting. You don't have to spend ages on it. You just need to make sure things are like central, uh, that you've used bold, maybe a little bit of colour, but again, don't be over sort of generous with the use of colour, less is more. Things like the headings, you need to put in spaces between the words because when these come in, there'll be field names and there won't be any spaces in. It's so basically what you're doing is just making it more user friendly. And the other thing I like the use of lines in reports and forms just to break things up uh, and to make it easier to read. I'll just do some formatting now to make this report more user friendly.
So that's the report finished. As you can see, oh, just one thing, this line I'm not happy with. It's got a bit of a wiggling. I'll go back and correct that. But basically, we've got a good title. We've got some really good headings. We've got all the data listed that's required. And I've just popped some lines on uh, to break up the report. The only thing I've used in the way of formatting is bold and colour. So that completes creating the report. There's the final report again, different, slightly different. If you could get all that done, that'd be fantastic because these are easy marks when you've got a simple query and a fairly straightforward report. No totals or anything. It's just a case of getting all the fields in and formatting it. The final part of activity three is part D. And this is where you need to save the report as a PDF. If you go into external data and then PDF, and you can save this report to play stats, make sure it's set on PDF and obviously select where you want to save your report to and then click on publish. And you'll need to include that PDF in the folder that's going to be submitted for the exam. In the next video, I'm going to look at Testing.